Now that we've placed our pressure network in plan view and profile view, we can go about labeling it. So in order to label our pressure networks, it's the same as our pipe networks. What you're gonna go ahead and do is navigate to the annotate tab and go to the add labels option. Pick this button and the add labels window pops up. From here, you're gonna drop down your features and select your pressure pipe network. From the pressure pipe network, you have the options of labeling an entire pressure network and plan, an entire pressure network and profile, an entire pressure network and section, a single pressure part and plan, a single part and profile, or a single part and section. I'm gonna go ahead and label some single parts in plan, and then I will label an entire network in profile. So I'm gonna go with single pressure part in plan. I am gonna go with my standard label styles for my pipes and my late, my fittings and my appurtenances. If I wanted to create new ones, I can create new or edit my current selections. If I go to edit current selection, I have the, all the same options as any other label inside of Civil 3D. You can add text, you can add lines, you can add blocks. With pipes, you can add flow directions, you can add reference text. Inside of the contents, you have all of the options available to you for what a pressure network is capable of returning. So you have thicknesses, you have pipe information, you have elevations, you have running slopes and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with standard. Um, standard is probably just gonna give me a name for the pipe. Uh, so it looks like name and description. So I'm gonna go ahead and go okay. And I'm gonna click add. And I'm going to add a label for this pipe here. And as you can see, it says pressure pipe four, which is the name of the pipe, 12 inch push on ductile iron, 350 PSI, AWA C151. And it tells me the layer is zero. So then moving on, I'm gonna label this one bend. And you can see it gives me a full list name of what that bend is. So if I wanted to label an entire network, I would choose entire pressure network in profile or plan but I'm gonna go ahead and do profile and we're gonna leave all of these as standard, pressure pipe label style, fitting label style, pertinence label style. And if there was a crossing pressure pipe, then we would label it also as standard, but we don't have any additional networks, so we won't have any crossing pressure pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add. I'm gonna navigate over to my network that's in the profile that I wanna add the labels to. I'm gonna select a piece inside the network and Civil 3D places all of these labels for me. And as you can see, uh, they are pressure pipe three, pressure pipe four, pressure pipe five, and then I also have my fitting two and my fitting one. So pretty much the same as all of the other label styles, but you can get more information or make them a little more robust if you go ahead and start creating your own label styles for these.